All right, let's continue looking over some different um, examples of kroger vink notation. And for example three, let's look at a sodium interstitial now in NaCl. All right, so we start out just like we did before. Um, the first thing we want to write is the species. And so uh, we have an interstitial, but specifically it's sodium. So that's our species here. And don't worry about the charge to, uh, to that, we'll cover that. Um, and then the position that that sodium is taking is given to us here, interstitial, right? And we denote that with a lowercase i in the subscript. And then um, the superscript, again, is the charge. So I like to keep track of the charge over here. So zero for a perfect crystal. And then interstitial, we're adding something now. And we're adding a plus one charge, right? So even though it's really quick, uh, easy math, I just like to keep track of it. And um, that way I don't mess up the charge either. So this is a plus one charge. So uh, a plus, uh, in this case, uh, again, represented by the dot. So a dot for plus one. If it was multiple, we would put multiple dots to represent plus two or plus four or plus three. Okay, so let's go through another example. And I'm sticking with the idea of sodium chloride and just kind of building up from there. So let's now look at doping or impurity of calcium chloride into our sodium chloride crystal. So this one actually has multiple parts, uh, but we'll start with uh, the, the calcium. So calcium is our first thing. Um, so it's important. So if we add this material into our crystal, then like charges tend to go to uh, like positions, right? So calciums tend to go to sodium positions because they're both cations. The chlorine obviously would go to chlorine sites, right? Um, however, we also have the potential for an interstitial, right? And the interstitial would happen with the smaller, so the cation, so calcium. And so um, option one here is I'll, I'll talk about substitution, so not interstitial. So here, we're going to substitute uh, the sodium for calcium and uh, chlorine for chlorine. So uh, our species in this is the calcium to start with. For, we'll talk about this one. So that's our species. And it's substituting, so it's taking the place of a sodium, so it's going to go into the position of sodium, and then we have to consider charge here, right? So let's do the math here. So perfect crystal, and then we're going to have to remove the sodium, so remove of the plus one charge, and then add the charge of calcium, which is plus two. So this would give us minus one, plus two, so plus one. So it's again a point charge, so one dot. All right. If we dope in uh, Cl, or sorry, CaCl2, we also have to account for the chlorine, even if it seems obvious. So let's go over what that looks like. So we our species is the chlorine, Cl. And it's going into a chlorine site, a position, so Cl. And then this math is really easy because we're going to subtract a minus one charge and we're going to add a minus one charge, right? So this should still be zero. And this is the last one we haven't dealt with yet. The uh, neutral charge is X. Right. So this is the one option where we have interstitial or sorry, where we have substitution. Now, let's consider in the second option here that we have interstitials. So even though um, the calcium would be the most likely because of the size, we're also going to look at chlorine interstitials. Again, it's not favored, but we'll just look at it so that you can see what it would, it would look like. So the first option would be 
calcium into an interstitial. So CA into that interstitial site. And then again, uh, perfect crystal. And then we're going to add a plus two charge. So that gives us a plus two charge. So plus two now, again, double dots to represent, or points to represent the plus two charge. And then let's look at the uh, chlorine. So chlorine, if now it goes into an interstitial, which again is unlikely, but let's just write it out, um, would go into an interstitial position. And the charge here would be plus a minus one. So that would just be a minus one. And that's going to be one dash to indicate the charge there. So these are the couple of different um, options we could have, either substitutionally or interstitially.